Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I bring you glad tidings from the Spirit of God. Listen, as you listen to this broadcast, burdens are being removed from off you. Yokes are being destroyed. You know why? Because I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said in his word, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God. So get, get ready to be blessed. Get ready to be healed. Get ready. Whatever it is. Listen, just get ready for a change. Praise God. And that's why you need to pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention to what? To what the Spirit of God is saying right inside you. Now listen. You know, sometimes, like yesterday I was telling you the difference between Logos, Rema, and explaining what the Word of God is. I said the Word of God is the Word that is spoken to you. That is the Word of God. Now, let me show you something Jesus said in John chapter 5. You need to see, you need to see this. John chapter 5 and verse 39. Now look at what it says here. It says, you search the scriptures because in them you think you have eternal life. And these testify of me. Did you see that? Now watch. It says, and you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. What a thing to say. Now, who was Jesus referring to? He was talking to the Pharisees. You need to understand. So sometimes when you read scriptures, you need to know, okay, who said what? You know, like in literature in those days in secondary school, they say, who said what, to whom, and on what occasion? So when you, when you read the scriptures, you ask yourself that same question. If not, you will not understand what he's talking about. You just think, oh, he's talking to me. Now, for example, for, for many years, I, I, you know, we all, many of us do, started from King James, you know, version. Now, for many years, when we see the scripture, we felt the scriptures admonishing us to search the scriptures. Because King James said, search the scriptures, for in them you may find eternal life. That's what King James said. So, so when you read that from King James, you say, oh, he's saying we should search the scriptures. So, you know what? Have you searched the scriptures? Have you searched the scriptures? Until... You know, that's why the Spirit of God, you know, I remember one day, I, no, I didn't hear this from anybody actually. I was reading this and then, and then so the Spirit of God was talking to me about several things. So I came, I came, I came across, across the scripture and I said, search the scriptures. And then the Spirit of God said, but that's not what I said. He said, how? He said, that's not what I said. Now, of course, the first thing to do when, when the Lord speaks to you like that, you... You, you ask him, so, so Lord, what did you really say? See, now, because when you read from the King James, look at what it says. It says, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you may have life. And that's what King James says. Now, so you read it, you, you just, that's when, you see, when the Holy Spirit, now, when, when you're just reading it, based on what you've heard before. You just say, oh, he's telling us, search the scriptures, see. But then, when the Holy Spirit now begins to minister to you, now read it again. And I say, come, this, this statement seems to be disjointed, you know. So search the scriptures, okay. For in them you think you have eternal life. But doesn't the scriptures give life? Didn't Jesus say the words that I speak unto you, their spirit and their life? Now, because we have, I have seen, this thing. I have seen many pastors get stuck when it comes to Things like this. For example, you ask them, um, so how do you know the voice of God? The first thing they'll say, you know, take your Bible and begin to read and read and read and read and read and read. You will hear God's voice from the Bible. You see, they are trying to play safe. You need to understand something here. The scriptures don't give life. No, they don't. It is the voice of God. Or well, let me put it this way. It is the word of God coming out of his mouth that gives life. That's why I tell you this. The Bible is a 
testimony or is a compendium of testimonies of people who received the word of God, what they did with it and how they ended up. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a book of testimonies. All these stories are documented for us to know one thing. The word of God is real. And those that take advantage of the word of God, they end up good. That's what the scriptures is telling us. Now, after reading the scriptures and being happy, if you do not receive the word of God, you are still dumb like someone who didn't even read the scriptures. You know, it's even worse for you because now you have several hope and expectation, but there is no power to bring anything to pass. It is the voice of God coming to you that brings the power that causes his word to come to pass. Now you see what's going on. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, I just wish we can stretch this thing and just keep talking and talking for the whole day. Praise God. But that's why we have a program like Sound the Alarm. So you come over, we gather together, we look into these things and then... And then opportunities to ask questions also and then we just fellowship together praise god plan for it this week saturday and sunday praise god hallelujah i'm gonna see you tomorrow bye bye